COVID-19 pandemic, the need for accurate detection of the virus is very essential. PCR is the best way to achieve this. It is usually done in labs, and the results are often very late to be collected, and it costs us a lot. Thus, we propose a micro QPCR that will only waste a short amount of time, have quicker cooling and heating rates, have low consumption of reagents, and reduce power consumption, and it is far more portable. I already suffered a fluorescent detection is low cost and very simple. The excitation light pale will be 2 mm from below the sample well and the emission pale will be from the surface of the wells. We reduce cost by eliminating collimators and filters because of the specific wavelength of the LED and RGB color sensor used. And by placing the 5 mm very close to the surface of the well that is bigger than the sensor as well as separating sample wells from each other. The fluorescent emitted will give a protocarin output that can be amplified by a transistor and converted to a voltage by a transient amplifier and then the output can be read by a microcontroller to be connected to a PC to generate the graph of the voltage values obtained per cycle and the graph will give us the result. A low-cost infrared thermometer calibration system using a simple black body cavity. We are now facing a serious pandemic called COVID-19 and one of its symptoms is high body temperature. Therefore, non-contact temperature measurement such as infrared thermometer is required. It measures the thermal radiation emitted by material surface. This has been widely used because it's fast and easy. However, if the device is uncalibrated regularly, it will lead to an error temperature measurement. Black body cavity has a high emissivity chamber with a small opening. This will give us an accurate reading for the temperature that we desire. So we propose a simple low-cost black body cavity. It is made of high thermal conductivity metal and coiled with nitro. The inner part has embedded sensors and layered with high emissivity paint. This will simulate human body temperature. Hopefully, this will improve the accuracy of the infrared thermometer. And until then, stay safe. Coronavirus or COVID-19 is the cause of the ongoing pandemic. The virus can spread easily through air. The approved method to detect coronavirus is PCR. However, PCR usage are limited in Indonesia. Therefore, we proposed an idea of a low-powered portable thermocycler with microscale chamber for controlled PCR reaction. The design of our project involves the usage of an aluminum block with three sample wells wrapped with nichrome wire as a heater. Then heat sinks and Peltier cooler are placed on each side of the sample wells. Thermistors will be placed in between the sample wells to monitor the temperature. The change of temperature will be controlled using a relay and an ESP32 microcontroller. We envision that this project will allow PCR to be more portable. And with the conditions today, this project would definitely be beneficial for medical practices in Indonesia.